Hey, Chris Matthew here. Just released uh, the first NPM module for Skynet, uh, the network and API for controlling the Internet of Things. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple to use. Um, there's some sample code here. Uh, you can find it in npmjs.org. Uh, I'm going to walk you through real quickly how it works. So um, we've got Skynet running uh, here on the left side. Um, we're going to run uh, some of our, our sample applications here in this top right window. Um, but before we do, I want to show you what some of the code looks like. So um, you simply uh, npm install Skynet. Um, you you uh, require uh, Skynet. And then you're going to establish a connection uh, with Skynet. And this is where you pass it um, the host ID and port and your UUID. This is your device's unique ID and your security token uh, that you get from Skynet uh, when you register a device. Um, from, from here you can uh, uh, update uh, the device. You can pass any JSON um, uh, document that you want to it, add properties, whatever you want to whatever you want to track on the device. Um, you do need to pass it the UUID and the token to update the, um, the device um, but it's as simple as this now uh, from the NPM module. You can also uh, listen for messages and send messages uh, uh, with this NPM uh, Skynet module. Um, the format is simple. Uh, it's your connection dot on and any, any message that comes in, you can act on it. Um, to send a message, you can uh, either say all devices on the Skynet network or a specific uh, UUID, you know, like this one. Um, or you can pass it an array of UUIDs. Uh, so the idea would be that you could say, um, give me a list of all the uh, drones in Phoenix that are online, and then you could send them all a message to attack. <laughs> you know, that, that's kind of uh, how it works. Um, so we're going to send a message, basically it says Skynet is online, and uh, it'll, it'll listen for a message, and um, uh, just I'll put it to the screen. So let me show you how that works. So um, we say node npm test. And notice uh, here on the left, Skynet saw uh, uh, a device connect, WebSocket connection detected. It asked it to identify itself. It uh, wrote the socket ID to the database. And keep in mind, all the event logging is happening. Uh, so you can go back and, and look at the event logs later. Um, the update uh, updated uh, armed to true. And then. Um, uh, it also, uh, yeah, so then it also uh, wrote back out the uh, status uh, Skynet is online. So with not too many lines of code, really this is the only code you need at the top to establish a connection with Skynet. And then now you've got uh, three commands available today. You can update devices, uh, send messages to devices, and listen for messages uh, coming in to your, de advice, your device. Um, so that's kind of cool. So let me show you, remember the Arduino demo we did with the, uh, the buttons and arming the device and all of this stuff? Um, let me show you what that looks like now. It looks even easier. We're using Johnny5 here with this Arduino um, uh, device. We're going to use the NPM module. So again, we're requiring Skynet. We make our connection to Skynet, and when the board is ready, um, we're going to update the board. Uh, or actually, we're going to wait for this button to be pushed down, and then we're going to arm the board, arm Skynet, arm the device rather with the Skynet network. And when the the button's up, we're going to unarm it. And then uh, here's all of our messages. Remember, we're looking for like yellow on or yellow off or red on or red off, and we're turn we're we're blinking or lighting up these uh, these LEDs. Uh, so let me show you how that works. Let's run. Uh, that application. Notice when I shut down that Arduino app, uh, Skynet automatically detects that um, the device went offline uh, and updated the socket uh, and the device accordingly. Uh, but let me go ahead and run it. So we're going to run uh, Arduino Fun, and all this is in, is in the npm uh, uh, in the um, my repo. So now it says uh, this is ready. So if we Click the button. Notice it says uh, devices armed with Skynet. And look on the left side. It received the uh, message through the NPM module to arm the device. And we let go of the button. And it also communicated to Skynet saying the device is unarmed. 
Um, again, we've got API calls. So this bottom right window, uh, we can still issue um, uh, API calls against this device. So we can say, turn like the red, let's see, let's turn the red light, let me turn the yellow light on. With this API call, we've got the yellow light on. And then we'll say, turn the yellow light off with another REST API call, turns the yellow light off. So all of this is now working. The beauty is, is that uh, there's now a really simple NPM module uh, starting to come uh, alive uh, on the Skynet network. Hope you enjoyed it.